So then boys and girls, as the days continue to tick down into the huge summer transfer window ahead, the transfer rumours, they continue to come in thick and fast. We are literally linked with every single player in the world right now. But the latest man to be linked with a move to the King Power Stadium this summer is Lille midfielder Rubikari Samare. It looks like Leicester are heavily interested in the French international. In other news, we'll be discussing how Cheng is under may not be signing for Leicester at the end of this season. In today's video, I'll discuss all of that as we get into discussing the latest Leicester transfer rumours ahead of the huge summer transfer window. Yes lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today boys and girls, we are back once again discussing the latest Leicester transfer rumours and news of course ahead of a huge summer transfer window in a few months time. In today's video, I've been discussing Lil midfielder Bubakari Samares. He's been linked with a move to Leicester this summer and I'll also go through the reasons why Turkish international Cengiz Under may not be signing for Leicester at the end of this season. But just before we get into that boys and girls, if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, let me know by dropping a big thumbs up. So yeah, if you want see some more trans videos like this going forward on the channel let me know by dropping a like on today's video or subscribe if you can't see my face i'm just going for you now well on the road to the mighty 2000 subscribers so any help towards that will be massively appreciated yeah just go and subscribe to the channel boys channel ready because you know that'd be appreciated and as always let me know your thoughts on these potential signings changes under samari let me know in the comment section down should we sell under should we bring bubakari samari to the king of power let me know in the comment section down below but yeah let's go to waffling let's get into discussing the latest leicester transfer rumors Right then, starting off, let's discuss Bubakari Samara and his potential move from Lille to Leicester this summer. So then, boys and girls, another day and another new transfer rumour comes in at Leicester City Football Club. This time, it is Lille midfielder Bubakari Samara. So then, Bubakari Samara is a 22-year-old centre defensive midfielder currently plays football at league inside Lille, of course, in the French League. He spent a total of four years at Lille so far, and before that, it was at French Giants Paris Saint-Germain where he went for the academy and finally got his move to Lille in 2017 team where of course he's now in the French under 21 squad as well with Wesley Fofana. Just like I said Samare was in the French under 21 squad of course he's now 22 so that would be kind of difficult but he's on the fringes of breaking into the first team at the French international level so it's fair to say this guy you know it is pretty decent. Position rise Bubakari Samare is a bit of a mix between a Wilfred Diddy and a Yuri Tillemans. He's a box box midfielder he can win the ball back but he's very good going forward as well and he has a lot of attacking kind of ability going forward he can play that ball through but he also wins the ball back very well and he's that really midfielder you do need he's got a great engine on him and just to the age of 22 he's looking like a great player and definitely one for the future i think samurai will be a great addition to the leicester midfield going forward especially if leicester do manage to get European or Champions League football next season. Samare would definitely add a lot of competition in, in that midfield and it will allow some players to get some key rest time in the Premier League, such as, Tiller, such as Tillemans, who you know has played a lot of minutes so far this season. But a number of different clubs are interested in the potential acquisition of Bubakari Samare this summer, which you know is completely understandable. Once again, it shows that this guy's got something about him. He's a special player. His potential is high and he's the perfect midfielder, in my opinion. The Premier League club who are, who are interested in the French international is awesome. Everyone seems to Arsenal is interested in everyone. So Arsenal, let's have it out and let's bring Samara to the King Powell Stadium this summer. Come on. It looks like Leicester have been watching Bubakari Samara for a very, very long time. We were linked with him in around February time and most recently, we have had a breakthrough on the news around Bubakari Samara. A few days ago on Twitter, the GOAT for Brixia Romano, if you know, you know, here we go, has said... He's pretty much hinted that Leicester are probably the favourites now to sign Bubakari Samara. Someone asked him, I think it was an Arsenal fan, who asked him a question, is he coming to Arsenal or not? And he hinted with, you know, the eye emoji that he could be on his way to Leicester, which um, is very, very interesting. I'll try and find a tweet and put it on screen for you guys. But, you know, when Fabrizio Romano said something, it's going to happen. Here we go. We could have a break for it, boys and girls. Samara could be on his way to Leicester. So based on that very exciting news from Fabrizio Romano, the man, the myth, the legend, here we go. Let's discuss his potential fee and how much would he cost if Leicester were to signing this summer it has been reported that it's going to be costing you about 35 million euros which is just over 30 million you know in pounds and stuff. i don't really know the conversion but it's about that so obviously it's going to be costly i mean french players always seem to be costly of course fafana i always seem to go to fafana just in, in, the, in the examples but he's a perfect example of course he signed them for literally a similar fee french international defensive player it could be a dream match it could bring the whole french squad to leicester let's get mbappe next boys and girls but yeah it's going to be around 35 to 30 million pounds something around 
that sort of price. I mean, he's high potential. He's going to cost a lot. It is a risk once again, but players from the French leagues always seem to come to Leicester and do well, of course, the final. And we had a certain Riyad Mahrez a few years ago as well. But so, yeah, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts on his potential signing in the comment section down below. Do you guys think Leicester should sign Bubakari Samara this summer? Let me know. Personally, for me, I think this would be a fantastic signing. The price, you know, it's a bit costly and the only real worry for me is that would even start in the team right now. Is, is he going to be better than Diddy and Tillemans? We don't know. Or does this hint to remove that one of Tillemans, Madison or Diddy could be leaving this summer? Yeah, boys and girls, as always, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So then, boys and girls, moving on, let's discuss Turkish international Cengiz Under. So yeah, boys and girls, this is the first time I've been discussing a potential outgoing for the up and coming season. Of course, this time, it is Cengiz Under. Over the past couple of days, there has been some key reports suggesting that Leicester are not really interested in signing Under permanently, and they could be sending him back to Rome where, yeah, he's probably going to stay there. So then, of course, Cengiz Under arrived at Leicester in late September from a quick loan move from Roma where, you know, he came with a lot of presence because we thought this could be, the, you know, the replacement for... Riyad Mahrez, it's a long time coming, but I really, I really thought that under could be the right thing for Leicester. And to be honest, he started off quite well. Of course, he played well against Arsenal, got that assist, got a few assists against Leeds United as well. And this guy was looking very good, but then he kind of slowed down, didn't really make too many of an impact in the Premier League after that. He found his first goal in the Europa League against Braga in that 4 0 win. He scored against Brentford, but since then, he's picked up a few injuries and he really hasn't really been involved in the Leicester side at all. I think Cengiz Under's found it very difficult to adapt to the speed and the play in the Premier League. Obviously, he's a winger, he's going to be getting some big tackles up against him. and I think he struggles from that really conversion from Italian and Rome football to obviously coming to Leicester in the Premier League where they're going to take on teams like Burnley, Sheffield United, teams like that where they're going to put in big challenges and I think Under has really struggled to do that. He's shown some real glimpses of the quality and I think this guy definitely does have the ability but it's just producing that consistently game by game and producing consistent performances from Leicester and that is what you need in the Premier League and over some players I know the wingers aren't just aren't the greatest but if you look at someone like Harvey Barnes he's been very good this season of course he's taken a long time to adapt as well but sometimes we can't really have these three or four years to wait to a player to adapt because you know we signed under on loan we, we, I think Leicester and Brenner I just thought you know he would, he would adapt quite quickly hit the ground running and really provide that good performance from Leicester and then we could potentially signing in the summer but to be honest boys and girls that has not happened of course he's only scoring two goals so far for Leicester, I mean, it is a slight disappointment, but yeah, it's been heavily reported from Leicester Live that Leicester will not be signing Chengiz Under at the end of the season. And Under will be going back to Roma, where he could potentially go on, on another loan move to a different club. I think, you know, it's clear to see that Brendan Rodgers is not the biggest fan of Chengiz Under. I mean, he has given him a lot of opportunities and he hasn't really taken them. I know I know several of those chances have been from the bench, but he hasn't really made that many that much of an impact recently. So, yeah, overall, personally, I think this may be the right decision to do. It is a shame. I would, see, I would like to see Chengiz Under do well at Leicester but maybe this move is not for him and maybe a move back to the Serie A in, in, in Italy or maybe a move to France or something could be better for Chengiz Under going forward in his career. So yeah boys and girls as always let me know your thoughts on Chengiz Under in the comment section now. Should we sell him or should we buy under permanently in the summer or I, I don't really mean sell I mean should we not obviously not extend the contract and not sign him but yeah just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay or go let me know. That rhymed. <laughs> Banter. So the boys and girls, that is it then for discussing the potential transfer move of Bubakari Samara and how Chengiz Under may not be signing for Leicester at the end of the season. That's also it for today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And as always, I can keep on saying, just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on Samara and on Under. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, boys and girls. But yeah, I'm a sportster and I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Peace, guys.